Hi, I'm Jerry from PressureWasher.net, Sirocco Vacuums, and Bulldog Pro Pressure Washers. This is a trailer monster rig. Uh, this one has a uh, enclosed 20 foot uh, nicely insulated trailer that we've installed a complete pressure wash, filtration for reuse, and uh, soft washing system. Uh, this one has custom hose reel racks, as you can see, for for uh, uh, keeping things up out of the way. It's got fans built into the rack and over here uh, for keeping the hot air out of this out of the trailer enclosure. We've got the uh, heaters and the mufflers of the engines wrapped and exhaust going outside of the heat, the uh, the trailer so that we're reducing the amount of, of heat load inside the trailer. Um, and uh, going through secondary silencers with the exhaust, we're making this a quieter system than average. So we've mixed the um, best of all the technology of our 32 years of experience in doing custom systems. And um, I think we've come up with a uh, pretty, uh, a pretty uh, simplified, if I can call it, for being compact and fitting all this performance in a small footprint um, there's no, there's no cutting back on space when it comes to how big a sand trap has to be, but at least we've found ways to stack filters and we've run hoses underneath the trailer and all the electrical runs underneath so there's a clean aisle for anything else that needs to be loaded in here. We've, uh, we've, we've compacted things as much as they can be compacted and still come up with um, a combination that's extremely serviceable and extremely usable. We've made uh, custom uh, switch panels for the hose reels. Uh, we've got uh, a separate uh, switch for lights and the fans. We've got the soft washing pump, which is a little 12 volt one right now. Um, until my customer gets bigger jobs, we'll get him into the engine driven diaphragm pump next. Uh, for right now, we've got uh, you know the 12 volt pump running for that. We've also got an emergency eye wash station with a 12 volt pump that pumps water out of the um, out of the uh, water tank um, and to the soft wash system. Two separate pumps actually. This one here is the eye wash and hand wash station. That one is of course the soft wash pump. So we've got a um, combination here that's just about everything. And the pressure washer that we have inside here, um, we'll get to in just a second. Um, while I'm standing right here, we've got two of the 30 gallon sand traps with a huge dirt load capacity in these sand traps. Um, these are multifunctional. They've got slide in filters. They've got hangers for the leaf, leaf trap uh, combinations. So if he wants to use these for sucking out rain gutters, he can. This guy's going to be in a variety of work environment. He lives down in the desert floor, but he also goes up into the mountains where he gets into the you know, heavy tree line where there's got to be lots of leaves to clean out of rain gutters and, and things like this. That's also where he's going to be doing a lot of house washing. So this had to be a really multifunctional system. So there's two big sand traps for doing parking garages or drive-throughs, whatever he runs into. Or if he's doing rain gutters, he can have the bags and whatever for cleaning out, uh, for, you know, catching the leaves. And then two automatic pump-out tanks. He's got a, um, a big water hose here with uh, 175 feet of three quarter inch water hose that feeds the primary water tank. He's got electric rewind on everything, including this vacuum hose reel. All these hose reels over here are electric rewind uh, for convenience. Um, the bleach tank on this particular system for his soft washing is sitting on the wheel well. It's got a skinny soft washing uh, a bleach tank over there with a fill right here that's convenient for the uh, for filling it with bleach. He doesn't have to reach over there or get in the corner. He's got a, a fill hose over here in the center aisle next to the hose rail. So this is all made for convenience. Here's a soft washing fill here. He can connect to a, a cam lock and fill from an external tank. Um, here's your pressure washer. It's a 37 horsepower fuel injected Briggs & Stratton big V-twin monster with dual pumps. They're seven gallons a minute rated each. 
Uh, this one is set up to be uh, uh, 12 gallons a minute total, so he's got six gallons a minute each. He's also got a secondary regulator on here, so with the flip of a valve, one of these pumps can be running at 12 to 1500 PSI for doing Thailand grout inside of a convenience store, while the other guy is outside using six gallons a minute and 4000 PSI for cleaning the islands or whatever he's got to do outside with sidewalks or whatever. So this is a very multifunctional system, totally um, uh, uh, adjustable for flow and pressure. He's got independent heaters for the independent pumps. So these are um, uh, both 18 inch heaters. And if he wants to reduce the flow down to, let's say uh, four gallons a minute going through one of these monster heaters, he can have 230 and 235 degrees for doing that Thailand grout uh, production style up inside the building. Uh, these again are heat wrapped. Uh, this is double layer stainless steel with an inch of ceramic fiber blanket in between. So this doesn't get any hotter than you'd want to lean against. It's the same insulation used on these and you know how that insulates and the heat exhaust straight up through. So this enclosure really is not gonna get that hot. It's radiated heat off the engine. The mufflers are completely wrapped. I mean, look at the muffler here and the exhaust goes through a secondary silencer and then down through the floor. So the heat from the engine exhaust is being pushed out down the floor. Down the, floor. the heat for the heater here goes straight up through the roof. So really it's, it's not that difficult to keep the inside of this trailer cool. Um, working our way back here, we have um, a um, we have a, a bank of, of batteries with inverters that run the automatic pump outs. He's got two engine systems with big charging systems feeding the batteries with charge, so he can run automatic pump outs um, without having to use a separate generator. This is it's an engine driven vacuum with a 30 amp charging system on it. 30 amp charging over there, that's a total of 60 amps to feed the inverter system. Uh, this is a nice big uh, three inch blower on a, on a uh, excuse me, four inch blower on a 23 horsepower engine. So we can run two vacuuming surface cleaners at hundreds of feet in opposite direction, and have total reclaim um, uh, with, with this system and still have power to spare. These things move a lot of air, a lot of long distances, multiple hoses, no big deal. And again, the muffler's been wrapped. Secondary silencer dumps the exhaust down through the floor. This is, this is a, a really easy trailer to work in uh, for just, just having it protected from heat. Um, then of course, we've got the second water tank, which is a, re, which is a, a recycle tank. We've got filtration for reuse in a big way. You can see the double bank of the uh, 20 micron filters that are cleanable. Uh, this one has, for space, you know, just for, for being compact, this has a 66 gallon oil water separator with six doubled number 12 bags hanging in it for silt uh, that are rated for 20, uh, excuse me, 200 and 100 microns. The secondary bank on top stops 400 and, and 300 micron sand. So this has a huge dirt load capacity. What gets pumped out of the automatic pump outs is going to be pre-filtered through all these bag filters. There's a total of 24 bag filters hanging in this thing. And then the water goes through the oil filler fibers, then through the cartridge filters, which are completely removable and cleanable. Everything's on cam locks. And um, this red tank here, by the way, is what we call a last resort tank. This tank is the last resort that protects the blower. The vacuum uh, waste tanks are back there with the sand traps and the hose runs up here to this tank. So if there was any foam, you guys have cleaned the back of a restaurant before where you hit it with a little bit of pressure and all of a sudden the soap that's built up from somebody using triple strength soap for the past three years starts to create a, a, a you know, four inches of foam running down the driveway. Well, you're going to suck it up with your reclaim equipment. So when the foam gets into the auto pump out tank, it's going to try to get past to the blower. But with a slide in filter in here sprayed with with defoamer, this stops that effect. This also has an, another automatic pump out. So he's completely protected. Even if one of those pump outs wasn't catching all the water, 
This one would be the last resort pump out. So it's a five tank system. Two big sand traps, two big auto pump out tanks with multiple inlets on each one, and then the last resort tank. So this man can clean with a team. He can go fast and not even worry about the, the uh, performance of the equipment because he's got backups in the right places. This is as much performance as we can put in a confined space and still have it all serviceable. Remember the hoses go down through the floors, all the electrical, all the plumbing goes underneath the floors and uh, everything up on top is what you need to get to. Otherwise we're good here. This is uh, still space for more. Um, we're gonna put uh, hooks in the wall so the man can have a hammock in here for sleep, sleeping quarters. He's got his uh, toolbox that he had us uh, leave room for. He's got custom shelving. We've, everything that's red in here we did custom. And of course the white straps for these tanks. Um, th these are the fuel cells for the engine systems. These, this is a 23 gallon gasoline tank and a 24 gallon diesel tank. So we're, and the, and the plumbing all goes through the floor with electric fuel pump, the whole deal. This is as safe and clean and simple and cool. This is state of the art. State of the art. With an aisle you and an aisle you can walk down with you know air you can breathe. This is state of the art guys. Go to pressurewasher.net, buy Bulldog Pro if you want it to last a long time. Buy a Sirocco vacuum if you want to want to suck some stuff up and get the work done. This is an off-road race. You need to go fast. You need to get things done. You need the rapid elimination of downtime. These are cool tools or we wouldn't be building them. Check our website, pressurewasher.net.